Okay, this is an example of a 4x4 four four Ken Ken, and I'm going to take you through the rules and go through an example of how to complete it. It's a little like Sudoku, but it has um, a cool twist to it. So let's examine the rules here quickly. Okay, what you need to do is fill in the empty boxes with the numbers 1 to 4. Now again, these are rules for 4x4 four four Ken Kens. If it was a 5x5, five five, you would use the numbers 1 to 5. If it were a 6x6, six six, you'd use the numbers 1 to 6. Rule number 2. You may use a number more than once, but you cannot repeat a number in any row or in any column. This means when you use a 4 in a row, you can't use the 4 again in that row. Similarly, if you use a 4 in a certain column, you can only have one 4 in that column. That's going to help you with process of elimination. Uh, you'll know when you're trying to guess at what number can go where, you say, well, it can't be the 3, because I'm, I'm already using a 3 in this column. Now this is the twist, rule number 3, uh, as opposed to uh, being compared to a Sudoku. You have to use the math operation in each outline shape with the numbers that you insert to create the number provided there as the result when using that operation. Now, those words, uh, very hard to sort of comprehend. It's a big jarble, garble type thing. But when I do the example of it, it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, and then number four. If an outline shape is a singular box with a number in it, the box automatically contains that number. Now, they're very easy. Um, if you have one box with a four in it, you know it's a four. Uh, if you see one with a two, you know it's a two. So, let's get crack a lack in here and uh, see how this goes. Okay, so, again, it's a 4 by 4 Ken Ken, and we're going to use these numbers 1 to 4. And you can only use them once in each row and column, so you know you're going to use 4 1s, 4 2s, 4 3s, and 4 4s. Okay? You always want to start with your freebies, and you want to look for singular boxes here. Now you see I have a 4 in a box by itself, as well as a 2 in a box by itself, and a 3 in a box by itself. Okay, so from that you're going to realize that we're going to use a 3 in this one, a 4 in this one, and then a 2 in this one. Okay, now that also means, again with that other rule we'll take a look at, that you cannot use a 2 anywhere in this row or anywhere in this column because you already have one. You can't use a 4 in this column or in that row because you've already used uh, 1 here. And you can't use a 3 in this row or in this column because you've already used 1. So that's going to help with our process of elimination. Now if you see the other numbers have operations with them and that means that per se in these three boxes here we have to use three numbers that multiply to nine that asterisk is a multiplication here we've got to use two numbers that add up to three here we're looking for two numbers that when you divide them you get a two is your answer and here these two numbers add up to four these two numbers when you subtract them you will get three, and it doesn't matter the order you do them. There's no negatives per se in a Ken Ken. And down here in this box, you've got two numbers here that will divide to um, give you a two. Now you can kind of start anywhere, but there's you know certain things that I would tend to look for here. I would notice that in this box right here, these two boxes have to add up to three. Excuse me. Okay. Well, there's only two numbers that can add up to three, and that's going to be two and one. Now, here's the thing, though. I don't know which one is the two and which one is the one, but I know there's a two and one in that box. So I'm going to put them sort of side by side like that, okay? Well, here, if you notice in this box, there's going to be two numbers who subtract to give me a 3. Well, that's going to be a 4 
and a 1, because there are no two other numbers that I can subtract and get a 3. But wait, I can actually do better than that with that, because I actually know the 4 can't go here, because it can't be in a column with a 4 already. So it's got to go here. Similarly, I can't put the 1 on this side, because there's always a, already a 1 in that row. So they've got to get organized like this. Okay? So, I've only got one box left in this column. That's always a great thing, because that's a straight process of elimination. And that's got to be the 3. And then if I notice, those two boxes have to add up to 4. So it's obviously going to be a 3 and a 1. Okay? Now that being said, I can continue up this column and realize a couple of things. I need to take two numbers that divide and give me a 2. Well, a couple of things with that. I've already used 1 and 3 in this column. So I've got to be able to use a 2 and a 4 here. And the good news is, is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Well, I can't put a 4 down here, because it would be blocked by that 4, so I now know where the 4 goes. It's got to be up here, making the 2 here. Now that being said, I know I have a 1 and 2 back in this box. And I now know that the 2 can't go here, so it's got to go up higher. And then the 1 will go here. And the process of elimination, I've got to have a 3 here to complete that row. Now, if I look at this one sort of odd shape, which happens in Ken Ken's quite often, it's these three boxes need to have a product of 9. They have to multiply to 9. Okay, well, if I know I already have a 3 in one of them, I guess I can ask myself 3 times what is 9, and that'll be these two boxes. Well, that answer is going to be a 3. So, but I have two boxes here, and I need to make a 3. Well, I can do that as long as I use a 1 along with it. So I'm going to use a 1 and a 3. Now, also you notice the 3 can't go here because it's being blocked by this, so it's got to go there. By process of elimination, that means this has to go here, that 1. Now, I've only got two boxes left if I look down in this column, and in this column, one apiece. So I have a 1 here, 2 here, a 3 here. By process of elimination, that has to be a 4. And then if you notice now, this has to be a 2 by process of elimination. And in fact, if I go to check that, I do have that 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now, in checking the rest of the Ken Ken, you'll notice that I have 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this column used only once. 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this column used only once. 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this column only appearing once. And similarly in this far right column the numbers 1 to 4 only appear once. And if you scan through this row by row, you get the same effect. One of each number, one of each number, one of each number. There's no numbers that repeat in any row or column. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 3 times 3 times 1 is 9. That's how you do it. It takes practice. Everyone's different, but I tried to model some of the strategies that you'll use in this. Good luck, and they're fun, and you do get a hang of them. Very hard at first, but once you start doing them, they're quite fun.